48 all. Can we call that a shooter's touch? Oh, yes. And we get the sense this is going to go back and forth. Another strong take by Wallach. She's got 11. And Martinez is not thrilled with what just came her direction. I think, I believe Cheryl Blue called a technical. I think you're right. I saw the T. I saw Bella Mercatete kind of stumbling out of there. So I don't know if it was intentional or just some, some kind of unintentional contact. The frenetic energy and the back and forth sequence, and then just out of the corner of my eye, I caught the signal and you saw it. For That's your seniors out there. You're hoping that, you know, they're, and, and, and Martinez, for as tough as she is, she does get emotional. And, you know, I think that helps her team, but sometimes it doesn't help her for now. So. Oh. Uh, Oh, that'll get you a T. You saw the shove <laughs> with the officiating crew now at the table reviewing the video. We are taking just another look at the technical foul that got called on Esmeri Martinez. Looks like Bella Mer Mercatete might have gotten her space a little bit. We do have an intentional foul. So we do have, officials just came over to the table. We do have an intentional foul on Esmeri Martinez. So it'll be two free throws and Washington State's ball. And this is where Dia Barnes needs Esmeri Martinez to grow. They need her on the floor. We see how capable she is of filling up a stat sheet game in and game out. And really the only thing that's limited her is herself with her foul trouble. She had the three fouls, that's her fourth. She'll sit now. One more look at the play in question. So a great finish by Wallach, just a little, kind of a bump, and then Martinez with the, the two-handed push. Uh, definitely the right call by the officiating crew. Now the question becomes